Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly arrange your song in Mixbus 32C version 9.1. In my studio, I work with a lot of singer-songwriters, and this new option allows me to cut full sections of the timeline so I can move parts around very quickly and make a full arrangement. So here on the screen, you can see I have three different parts. I have a verse, a pre-chorus, and a chorus. And I have some basic bass, acoustic guitar, electric guitar, and drums from the Q page that's being triggered from the Q marker. So if I want to double the length of this song, all I have to do is just make a range with my range tool. And you can see there's indicators in the time ruler that lets you know the extents of your range. And you can even grab these and move them around if you want. And up in the edit menu, we have two new actions we can choose from. We can either cut and paste or copy and paste range sections to the edit point. And the keyboard shortcuts for this are Command Shift X and Command Shift C or control shift if you're on a PC. And we can even move these around based on our playhead or our mouse position. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my playhead here on bar 39 and do my keyboard shortcut, command shift C. That's gonna copy the entire range over. And you can see it also copied my Q marker and my location markers. So now let's check out the transition from one section to the next. So now let's say I want to add an intro to this song. Let's take some bars from the chorus and move it before the first verse. Let's play what we have. Okay, that's playing along. And with my range selection made, I can move my playhead to bar nine, which is where the verse starts. And I'm actually going to copy this. So once again, Command Shift C. And now you can see everything ripples over to make room for the new section I just pasted. And now let's check out this transition. Okay, but you notice there weren't any drums there, so I can add that real fast just by right-clicking and adding a QA marker. And now we're gonna hear some drums. Let's go in and add some automation now so I can show you what that does. So we currently have the electric guitar pan to the right. Let's have that pan to the center for our verse and then move back over to the right for our pre-chorus and our chorus. And now I can make a range selection and I can place this where the next verse is and copy this over. So you can see that the automation is carried over as well. So this is actually slicing through the whole entire timeline, including markers, key markers, automation, playlists that are visible and invisible. And it's just a much different tool than simply creating a range and trying to copy and paste sections around manually. And now for another example, let's go ahead and change our edit point to mouse. So you can see that the shortcuts work whether you're using the playhead or the mouse location. So I'm gonna select my verse through my chorus again, and then move my mouse where I want, and use the shortcut. And this pasted section is also pre-selected, so I can just copy it again. So let me know down in the comments how you would use this in your next production. And in the meantime, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and I'll see you in the next video.